Hello folks and welcome to Sun Cortex. In today's video, I want to talk about amplitude modulation. Before doing so, let's take a step back and let's talk about ring modulation again. Because of a very simple reason, that is AM and RM are basically the same thing. What makes the difference is the type of modulator we use. We know that in ring modulation, we use uh, bipolar signals like in this example, okay, and we multiply the two, and the result produces sidebands only, so the carrier frequency disappears. But why is so? Let's make an experiment with extremely low frequencies so that we can easily visualize what is going on. So this is our super slow ring modulation. Well, it is not at all the rate, so it's not proper ring modulation, but we don't care because we only want to visualize what is happening. I can use a signal to float for the carrier and another one for the modulator. And then I want a vertical slider. I need to change its range. So from minus one to one, and I want it a little bit thicker so we can easily see what is going on. And we can change the color to a bright red rate. So this is how our carrier is oscillating. This instead is how our modulator is oscillating. There are some moments in, in time where the two oscillators are out of phase. So like... Let's wait a little bit here. And we know that when two signals are out of phase, they cancellate each other. So the resulting sound is zero. And it's precisely because of this that with ring modulation, the carrier frequency disappears. Let's see what happens with amplitude modulation, where we use a unipolar signal to modulate the amplitude of our error. So we can use these two objects to simply scale, produce the amplitude range of our bipolar signal and add an offset to compensate the overall amplitude reduction. Now our modulator ranges from 0 to 1, so our oscillators will never cancellate each other. And yeah, that's amplitude modulation basically. So this is what amplitude modulation looks like. We have these enveloped section of our carrier from zero up to one, and we cycle between these envelopes. But what if I want to change the overall amplitude range? Well, here we can introduce a new term that is really, really common in these type of modulation synthesis. And I'm talking about the modulation amount. Sometimes we also refer to modulation amount as modulation index, but keep in mind that modulation index is a more specific term that is used in frequency modulation and represents the ratio of the maximum frequency deviation of the carrier signal. But never mind, because this topic will be covered in the next video. So let's add a simple modulation amount. So we multiply our modulator by a value that is in the range 0 to 1. So here, minimum 0, maximum 1. And this is our modulation amount. So when it's set to 0, we have no sound. In case you want your amplitude modulation not to bring the level down to 0, we can add an offset. So let's say plus 0 0.25. Okay. And at this point, we need to reduce this modulation amount. We don't want it to reach 1, but we need a maximum value of 0 0.75. In this way, the overall maximum amplitude will be 1, but our amplitude modulation will never touch the 0 here. So let's take a look at this. Thank you. 
If you liked this series so far and you picked up something new, please consider joining my Patreon page. You'll not only get access to unique projects both for plug data and pure data, but you'll get access to exclusive tutorials. Talking about amplitude modulation, I uploaded a video showing how to achieve really complex sounds with AM only. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao ciao!